So what's up everyone, welcome to part number three of drawing these Native American capitals to celebrate Native American Heritage Month. And now this next Native American capital is really interesting actually because, well, it's not really a permanent capital. Uh, this Native American reservation has two capitals, technically, and one of those capitals is like a temporary or like a, a de facto capital, and that's exactly where we're about to draw a de facto capital. And the other capital is a de jure capital, which is like officially recognized, meaning permanent. Now, uh, the next Native American capital we're about to draw in this video is going to be Durant, Oklahoma. I've actually drew a de facto capital before, but not for this series, for a different art series in this channel, drawing Evercurrent Capital City. Uh, not too long ago, actually, maybe like last month, uh, Braids Montserrat. I don't need to talk about that capital. We need to concentrate on drawing another Native American capital, which I am excited for. So without any further ado, Let's go ahead and start drawing. Durant, Oklahoma is a de facto capital of this Native American territory or Native American re reservation, uh, Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma, or you could just call it Choctaw Nation. Uh, and this Native American reservation has two capitals. I had talked about it uh, during the intro. I didn't really say the specific name of this territory. I just said that there's two capitals in uh, this next territory that we're literally touching, sort of. I mean, we're drawing one of the capitals of the Choctaw Nation, and that is again, Duran, Oklahoma. And the other capital, which is actually a de jure capital, is Tuscahoma. And I feel like I could have drew Tuscahoma, you know, draw, uh, I should have drew two capitals in this video. I didn't, I didn't even know what the hell I was thinking. I felt lazy, I felt like a couch potato, and I do apologize guys for my laziness, but I promise you uh, in the next part, which is part number four, I will draw two Native American capitals. Uh, I guess just to make it up, maybe in the next part I'll draw Tuscahoma. Well, I was, I was thinking about drawing Tuscahoma in the next part, but I don't know. Uh, to me it won't make sense because I'm gonna uh, jump to a different Native American a nation or a reservation however you want to consider these Native American like uh, possessions in the US uh, instead of uh, being stuck in the Choctaw Nation for the next part so uh, I'm sorry Tuscahoma and plus uh, there's nothing really too too special about I don't know there's nothing really unique about uh, the de jure capital of Choctaw Nation so I'm I have so much focus on the Durant city, so yeah, <laughs> I mean Durant, Oklahoma has a stronger uh, government compared to Tuscahoma. I think Tuscahoma still has that uh, Choctaw Nation Capitol building around. I don't know if it's demolished. I feel like it's still around because I, I feel like there's a little bit of the government. There's a, a little bit of the seat of government that's still alive for Tuscahoma, but Again, Durant, Oklahoma has a bigger seat of government, and uh, the Choctaw Nation a is actually one of the biggest Native American nations in the U.S. Uh, by in terms of population and area. So, and Oklahoma is going to continue to take over uh, these Native American capitals. Maybe for the rest of this series, Oklahoma is it's really known for not only for its cowboy culture and all that stuff and the tornadoes and even its Native American nations or reservations again. And uh, speaking of Native American reservations or nations, uh, there's some Native American reservations in the Midwest, maybe like parts in the state of Minnesota and Wisconsin. There's some Native American reservations in the Pacific Northwest, maybe like parts of Washington. Yeah, the state of Washington for sure. I don't know about Oregon or Idaho or... I don't know. I just... I'm not too sure. And I know there's some Native American uh, reservations in the southwest of the U.S. Uh, parts in Arizona. I don't know about California. Maybe that's just a uh, Mexican-based uh, territory. The state of California touches a uh, part of Mexico. 
uh, the state of Baja, California, that Mexican state. I'm getting off topic here. I'm not really talking about the Native American reservations anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But again, there's some Native American reservations in uh, the state, the states of Arizona and New Mexico. But there's like a large, there's there are large chunks of Native American reservations in Oklahoma for sure, which is it's nuts. Yeah, it, apparently Oklahoma is really gonna take over this series. Uh, when it comes to drawing these Native American capitals. Oh, and I decided not to use my face cam for another part of drawing these Native American capitals. Why? I'm just chilling. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Oh, and also, feel free to follow my Facebook page. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time.